Hey, this is Chris, and in this video, I wanna show you all the really awesome new Zapier updates we just made to Sales Message. Uh, we made some new triggers, we made some new actions, uh, and a new search function to give the Zapier integration um, a lot more beef. So let me show you what uh, we built. So we added some new triggers, and so when you go to uh, Zapier, you'll see uh, this new trigger over here, which is missing incoming phone calls. So we had a lot of folks say, hey, you know, I wanna be able to automate um, a, a Zapier when somebody calls me, but I miss the phone call. So a good example would be somebody calls you, you don't pick it up, you could set up a Zap, so hey, maybe delay three minutes and then send this text message. And that text could say something like, um, you know, hey, uh, just saw you called, I'm a little tied up. What's the best email for you? Or how can I help? Whatever it is, you can start to uh, build an automation for that. Uh, we also set up another um, uh, trigger, which is coming soon, which is tag added to contact. So when a sales message tag is added to a contact, that can then trigger an automation inside of Zapier, right? Pretty cool stuff. These two uh, features are now available. Actually, the tag one is coming soon, but the missing call one is set up. Now let's get to the action. So we have a couple of actions. We have the ability to send a group text message, right, from Zapier. We have phone checker, which will look up the phone carrier. It will look up the phone type. Is it a landline? Is it a mobile? Is it VoIP? Is it a bad number? You can look that up. You can apply a note or add a note to a contact, and then you can find a sales message member. Let me show you each one of these and what they actually look like inside of the sales message too. So uh, once you go over here, you can set up the action. So you just choose where you wanna send it from, and then if you wanna hard code in a phone number, like, hey, I wanna add my phone number, you can do that. If you want to merge in a phone number from you know, one of the zaps that you have, right? you can easily just uh, merge that in, and now you can create a group text which everybody can see the conversations there. So let me just go over here and show you what it looks like. So basically, you send this out, right? It's gonna send the text, and so everybody in this group gets this text message. So you can see you know, this contact and this contact, right? And it's all within one group text. Everybody in the group can respond and everybody can see those messages. You can now do that from Zapier. So that is uh, the group text, pretty cool feature. Phone checker, what this will do is it's gonna look up a phone number. So maybe you wanna look up a number to determine the carrier or to look up the um, type so you just put in the phone number here, and then once you run the action, it's gonna pull down this information, right? So here's the number, here's the format, here's the country, um, here's the carrier, and then what type is it? Landline, VoIP, mobile. So you can look up those numbers and, um, and take some action on that, some extra data uh, as well. And then create note. So if you wanna create a note on a contact, now you can do that with our Zapier integration, right? Again, what's the phone number? And then what is the note? So I'll show you what it looks like over here. And there it is, right? So you push a note from Zapier. It's gonna add a note on the contact record. It's not gonna do it on the conversation record. If you guys want that, let us know. Uh, we can certainly build it. So that's create a note. And then the last one is the ability to find a sales message member um, and to see all the members. So what you can do is just set up this action. You don't really need to search. Um, if you want, you can search, but it will just run the action and then pull down the list of members that you have on here. So like, hey, here's all these members, you know, here's the email address, time zone, you know, all of this other information on your users. So a use case for this may be, you know, if you need to round robin or you need to sort of do a pivot table and a lookup table to determine that you want to send it to, you know, somebody. So. Um, that's it, and uh, hope you enjoy it. We've got some awesome uh, new features on the platform as well, and uh, the Zapier one certainly makes it nice and simple. So thanks, everyone. Have a good one.